Hi, welcome to this Code Maths video. In this video, we're going to look at the video solutions, the Code Maths practice questions on multiplication and dealing with the end number. So whenever we're doing multiplication, what happens to that end number? If you need any extra help on that multiplication with uh, dealing with the end number, if you go to Code Maths and go to the videos and worksheets section and scroll down to video number 201, in that video, I go through the end number in a bit more detail. Alternatively, you can scan this QR code. But in this video, we're going to focus on the video solutions to the practice questions. So let's get started. Okay, let's have a look at our first question, question number one. So question number one says, fill in the missing digits. So we've got this missing digit here. We've got 85 times 4 is equal to 340 something. And we need to figure out if this is a 0, a 1, a 2, a 3, a 4, a 5, a 6, a 7, an 8, or a 9. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at our end digits of the numbers we're multiplying. So we've got a 5 here and a 4 here. And 5 times 4 is equal to 20. Now, because that number ends in a 0, that means the end digit in our answer will have to be a 0. So that means our answer is 340. So that means the missing digit is a 0. So we've just done 5 times 4 is 20. And because that ends in a 0, our answer will end in a 0. Okay, let's look at question number 2. So question number 2, we've got 12 times 14 is equal to 160 something. So if we want to find the end digit, we just multiply the two end digits in the question. So we're going to do 2 times 4. And 2 times 4 is equal to 8. So it's going to be 168. And that's it. Okay, let's look at our next question, question number 3. So question number 3 says, Ramon has worked out the answer to 3 times 487. And he says the answer ends in the digit 9. Is Ramon correct? Explain your answer. So let's have a look at this. We've got 3 multiplied by 487. So let's multiply the end digits. So 3, well, the end digit is just 3. And 487, the end digit is a 7. So if we do 3 times 7, so 3 multiplied by 7, that's equal to 21. And that ends in a 1. So that means that if you do 3 times 481, the last digit, the end number, must be a 1, not a 9. So let's explain that. And that's it. I've just explained that no, since 3 times 7 is equal to 21, the answer ends in a 1, and it doesn't end in a 9. Okay, let's look at our next question, question number 4. So question number four, we've got 19 multiplied by 16 is equal to 300 and something. And we need to figure out what that missing digit is, this end digit here. So let's do 9 times 6. 9 times 6. 9 times 6 is equal to 54. Now that ends in a 4. So that means that our answer needs to end in a 4. So our answer would be 304. So that missing digit was a 4. Okay, let's look at our next question, question number 5. So question number five, we've got some multiplications to do here and we've got the answers. And it says by considering the values of the units or the ones, match each multiplication to its answer. The first one has to be done for you. So we've got 29 times 37 and 9 times 7 is equal to 63 and this ends in a 3. So fantastic. Now let's have a look at our answers. We've got one that ends in a 5, one that ends in a 6, one that ends in a 3, one that ends in an 8 and one that ends in a 1. So that's good. This, I was just checking that none of them have the same end number here. So here. 85 times 15 so if we look at the end digits 5 times 5 5 times 5 is equal to 25 so that means the answer needs to end in a 5 so it's going to be that one okay next 52 times 13 well 2 times 3 2 times 3 is equal to 6 so that means the answer has to be that one because that's the only one that ends in a 6 okay our next one 41 multiplied by 31 well that ends in a 1 and that ends in a 1 and 1 times 1 is equal to 1 so that means the answer needs to end in a 1 so it's going to be that one and finally, well, 34 times 32, we think that's going to be 1,088. Well, 4 times 2, 4 times 2 is equal to 8. So that means that that will be answer. And that's it. So we've matched those per answers. So 29 times 37 was 1,073. 85 times 15 is equal to 1,275. 52 times 13 is equal to 676. 41 times 31 is 1,271. And finally, 34 times 32 is equal to 1,088. And that's it. Okay, let's look at our next question, question number six. So question number six, we've got some bigger answers and some bigger numbers that we're multiplying. And this is the first one's been done for us. Well, five times two is 10, and that ends in a zero. Fantastic. And let's just check our answers. End in a four, a nine, a six, and a one. So that's fantastic. I'm just checking that none of them end in the same end number. So here we've got nine times nine. Nine times nine is equal to 81. So the answer must end in a one. So that means that that one will be that answer. Here, eight times two. 8 times 2 is equal to 16. That ends in a 6, so that's going to be that one. 3 times 3, well, 3 times 3 is equal to 9, so that's going to be the one there, that one. And finally, this one must be the one at the top. 8 times 3, 8 times 3 is equal to 24. That ends in a 4, so that means that one must be the one at the top that ends in a 4, that one there. And that's it. That's our answers. Okay, let's look at our next one. 
Okay, let's go to our next question, question number seven. So question number seven, we've got A, B, and C. And we've got 53 times 23 is 1,200 and something. Um, it, we've got three times three, that's nine. So it must be a nine there. So that means our answer would be 1,219. Okay, next, 156 times 7. Well, 6 times 7, 6 times 7 is equal to 42. So that means their answer must end in a 2. So it's going to be 1,092. Okay, let's look at our next one, part C. So part C, we've got 219 times 40 something is equal to 9,417. Now this ends in a 7. And actually in this one, it's a little bit different because this time what we're trying to do is figure out what this end digit here was in terms of the numbers we're multiplying together. Okay, so let's consider this digit here. If this was a 0, well, 9 times 0 is 0. If this was a 1, 9 times 1 is 9. 9 times 2 is 18. Then we've got 27, 36, 45, 54, 63, 72, and 81, if that was 9 times 9. Now, we want it to end in a 7. Now, there's only actually one option that ends in a 7, and that's that one. And that'd be 9 times 3. So that must be 43. So 219 times 43 is 9,417. And that's it. So that means the missing digit was a 3. Okay, let's look at our next question, question number 8. Okay, let's look at our next question, question number eight. So question number eight, we've got Ricky here, and he says that 42 multiplied by 74 is 3,112. And we've been asked to explain why Ricky must be wrong. Well, let's consider the end digits. We've got a two, and we've got a four. And two times four is equal to eight. So that means the answer must end in an eight. But here it ends in a two, so that's not right. So let's explain that. And that's it, I've said that Ricky must be wrong since 2 times 4 is equal to 8, and the answer then therefore must end in an 8, but Ricky's answer ends in a 2. Okay, let's look at our next question, question number 9. So question number 9 says, Charlotte multiplies two numbers together, x and y, so she's got a number which is x, so we've got number x here, and we've got a number y here, and she multiplies those two numbers together, and this number, x, is between 70 and 80, and y is 74. So I'm just going to write that in there, 74. And her answer ends in the digit 6. So she's got an answer, I don't know what it is, but it ends in the digit 6. And we've been asked to find the two possible values of x. So there's two possible values here for x, and we need to figure out what they are. Okay, so this number here, so it's between 70 and 80. Now, obviously, it can't be 70 or 80, because if we had 70 times 74, the end digits would be a 0 and a 4, and 0 times 4 is 0, so therefore it wouldn't end in a 6. And likewise, it couldn't be 80 for the same reason, because 0 times 4 is 0, and it ends in a 6. So I'm just going to rule out those two straight away. And then that means that the numbers between 70 and 80 would be, well, we've got 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, and 78, and 79. And we were told there's two possible values for x, so two of these numbers, when you multiply them by 74, it will end in a 6. So if it's 71, well, 1 times 4 is equal to 4, not 6, so it's not 71. 72, well, 2 times 4 is equal to 8, not 6, so it's not 72. 73, well, 3 times 4 is equal to 12, that uh, ends in a 2, so it's not 6, so it's not that one. 74, 74, well, it ends in a 4, and 4, 4 times 4 is equal to 16, that ends in a 6. So that means 74 would be one possible option. So that means that one possible value of x would be 74, so that would work, it could be 74. Let's have a look at 75, well, 5 times 4 is 20, that ends in a 0, not a 6, so it's not 75. Okay, next, 76. Well, 6 times 4 is 24. That ends in a 4, not a 6, so it's not 76. 77. 7 times 4 is 28. That ends in an 8, not a 6. 78. 8 times 4 is 32. That ends in a 2, not a 6, so it's not 78. 79. 9 times 4 is 36. That ends in a 6, so 79 will be another possible option. 79 times 74 must end in a 6. So that means that uh, there's two possible values for x. They are 74 and 79. And that's it. So that's their possible answers. And that's it. So in this video, we've gone through the video solutions to the practice questions on the end number whenever you're dealing with multiplications. I hope you find this video useful. If you have found it useful, please like it. And please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thank you. Cheers. Bye.